Have you noticed, honey, that in the world today, yeah. the most prosperous nations are nations that don't have, pe uh, don't have war. It's true, honey. The most prosperous nations in the world are nations where crime is minimal. Yeah. Or sometimes non-existent. Yes. The most prosperous nations in the world are nations where human rights are upheld. People respect each other. Mm -hmm. The voice of every single person is heard. There is equality. Mm -hmm. So prosperity and peace go together. Now, most people don't know that if you're a quarrelsome person, it doesn't matter how talented or gifted or intelligent you are. If you're a quarrelsome person, you're going to get broke. And if you're rich right now, and yet quarrelsome, that money will help you for a given number of years. Yeah. And then that very same money will start attracting trouble towards you. Yeah. So that the money will mostly be used for medical bills, legal cases, yes. always defending yourself in courts and things mm. like that. Yeah. So the money that you made because you're brilliant, um, just because you are not a man or a woman of peace, mm -hmm. that money turns against you. Prosperity and economic success can only be found in an environment where there is peace. So that when people wake up in the morning, they know that they can drive to work or to their businesses without being attacked, without being mugged, yeah. uh, without being robbed. Yeah. So everybody focuses not on their security, but they focus on creation of wealth. So peace attracts wealth. Peace attracts money. And that's why our topic for tonight is money flows towards peace. One of the reasons our African nations tend to wallow in poverty and misery is because of the fights that are there. Sometimes they're tribal wars, mm -hmm. sometimes they're ethnic wars, yes. sometimes they're political wars, yes. sometimes politicians force themselves mm -hmm. upon a population that doesn't want them. Yeah. And then they have to use the barrel of the gun. They call it the bullet instead of the ballot. <laughs> and in some cases, whoever wins is rigged out. That's right. That state where there is no peace makes for an environment where money cannot thrive. The economy cannot grow. I think as it is now, education standards of African nations is extremely high. Uh, especially if you look at IT proficiency, people are extremely knowledgeable when it comes to things like social media, use of mobile phones, mobile money and all that. And all these things are supposed to make Africa the richest continent in the world. But we must get rid of war, fights. Yeah. It's so true, but the, the people who fight uh -huh. uh, uh, have time to even call their neighbor at work Thief, yeah. all, all sorts of yeah. strange names. Yes. And not those at a high level. You see, a person who um a person who looks at their neighbor yeah. suspiciously yeah. very often mm. will be a poor person. Yeah. A rich person looks at their neighbor with a high level mm. of curiosity. They want to know why this person is as successful as they are. Yeah. And they have respect for such people. You'll yes. find the respect those who are more successful than themselves. Yeah. And they love peace. Have you noticed that? It's the rich that will say, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. It's the rich that will say, excuse me. Yeah. It's the rich that will say, pardon me. Yeah. You know, it's the rich that will say, I beg your pardon. It is the rich that will go on TV to make an apology. Yes. A lot of people who are not rich will not apologize. <laughs> yes, many times they'll throw their hands and yeah. say, and don't I, care, exactly. do whatever you like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have yeah. you noticed those who are not rich tend to walk out whenever there's a problem? That's true. Poor people, mm -hmm. those who have chosen the path of poverty, they're those who are poor, but I'm going to make, I'm going to make it because they listen to messages like this. Yeah. Poor people, usually when there is a bit of a challenge or something difficult, they look for someone to blame and then they take off. Yeah. Rich people think there is an opportunity here to make money. Mm. So I'm going to solve this problem. 
and make some money. Yeah. And then I'm going to create a way for the future generations not to go through this same thing. Mm. And that's the reason why even when it comes to infrastructure development, yeah. you find it's the rich person who thinks about how people can travel from one place to another. Mm. So they start thinking of ways of getting the road done. Then you find some poor person mm. uh, burning something right in the middle of that road <laughs> because they are angry. Yes. <laughs> angry with the government. Mm. So they have to destroy their road. Yes. They're angry with the government. So they have to destroy their shops. Yes. They're angry with the government. They have to destroy their own electricity. So for that period of time, there's no power. Yes. And honey, you know, <laughs> it's interesting that when you define riches, it's not defined by people who have made a certain amount of money, uh -huh. but the attitude of a person. Yes. And the mindset. Yes. The fronel. Yes. The mindset of a person. And the ability to be moving forward. Mm -hmm. And if you find a person who was born in abject poverty, but they had their shorts clean, mm -hmm. they had, they looked clean. They, they, looked they washed themselves, even yes. if it was in a river. Yes. But they washed themselves. Yeah. They have a comb and they comb their hair. Yes. And they cut their nails. Exactly. Yeah? Their mud uh -huh. hat is uh -huh. well, is well secure. It doesn't have holes. Uh huh. So it's a person who already has the attitude of riches. Mm -hmm. They're moving somewhere. Yeah. They're always willing to learn. Yes. If you can teach them a skill, they appreciate those who are ahead of them. Mm -hmm. And it's only a matter of time and they'll have um, money coming their way. Yeah. Because they have already the, the front nail, the attitude yes. of a rich person. The mindset, the disposition of a rich person. Yet there are rich people who are poor. Uh -huh. are, the, you uh -huh. could have money, but the attitude is poor. Uh -huh. Even where they live is, is dirty, it's degenerating. Yeah. The house they live in, something is falling off and yeah. they won't fix it. Uh -huh. Because they don't want to spend the money. <laughs> yeah? They don't want to use the money. Yeah. So those are the ones that worship money yeah. instead of worshiping God. Yeah. And any moment you worship what is created, mm -hmm. rather than worshiping the creator, you start going down. Yeah? Yeah. You degenerate. Your environment degenerates, your physical health degenerates, your relationships degenerate.